around me is changing. I'm a single mother of seven. I have a difficult decision to make, whether I will stay or whether I will go. Liberty Square is the heart. And when you destroy the heart, you destroy the people. So where is the people going to go? When they came to build Miami, they wanted it to be this beachfront paradise. So what they did was push the people of color, black folks, to the middle of the city, which sits on a ridge. Why are you seeing what it's going to be? Why? Why are there no people that look like me? This is the next step in the process. Somehow or another, Mr. Milo, the plans change. How do I get a place to live? How? What are you going to You think you're going to be able to call Milo and ask him for an apartment? <laughs> put on a good front for my um, staff and I put on a good front for my children, but it does bother me. I have to go to sleep at night. And I'm wondering like what would happen to us if we do lose the place. I'm not disconnected from these kids. I used to be one of these kids. Why, why you love the kids? Why you do that? Because when I grew up, no one told me they loved me. I'm in war stage, willing to fight for these children and my community. We're starting to see developers who have historically only did business on the beach or in affluent communities are now coming in and fighting over housing projects that sit smack dab in the middle of our city. I'm a firm believer of mixed income development and breaking up concentrated poverty. And I'm not saying this because I work for the firm. I'm actually, I am impressed with our plan. I've heard everything from, you know, Aaron, you're just here to take a check every two weeks, or, you know, you're a house nigga, something like that. What color you want her on to be? I need to know so I can start Go. getting stuff. <laughs> we can't even get a meeting with the people that made all these promises. That's why I'm asking you, how you know they're gonna keep their word? It's in the contract. Miami is ground zero for sea level rise. We are the example of climate gentrification. When I was a child, my grandfather always would say, they're gonna come take Liberty City because we don't flood. <laughs> 